Okay, we're coming up on the uh, last few turns here. So I'll go ahead and uh, clip that iron wire off. Alright, I'm just going to try to hold it in place with my thumb a little tighter as I pull this through this time. There. That did it. Now we'll bring the uh, cotton wire around to this side. That's pretty satisfying to be cutting these wires off. Okay. So now, we're just going to cut the uh, iron wire on this side off at the uh, at about a quarter inch. Cut the uh, copper off over here at the same. And there we have it. That is a stubble field coil finished all the way up to the... Um, okay. So now that we have the primary part of this coil down, I'm just going to give you some measurements. Uh, the primary part of the coil is two inches uh, wide, two inches by five and a half inches. That's leaving us about three eighths of an inch uh, for the secondary. There's room for for our secondary to go in here. So uh, we'll just do a few tests here on this coil real quick. We'll put it. We'll submerge it in water here. Let's add a little more water. There we go. It'll take quite a while for the uh, whole coil to absorb all the, uh, the moisture that it needs for operating here for the next couple days. But uh, it'll get wet enough here in just a few minutes to uh, operate. All right. Let's first let's check for shorts. Good, we have no shorts. We're at uh, 0.7 volts. We're at 40 milliamps. So that's all good. Now we will uh, check the electromagnetic field. All right, let's try out the electromagnetic uh, make and break switch motor now on this coil. Um, what I have here is just uh, four magnets. Uh, the polarity is facing out on each of them, uh, so north out on each magnet. Um, I have a bearing that I took out of a computer fan. Um, this bearing pivots very easily. If any of you have any trouble getting this part of the, your coil to work, it's probably because there, you have too much resistance on your bearing. This bearing needs to uh, spin super, super easily. All right, I've got a reed switch. I'll go ahead and give you guys a link on where to buy this reed switch. Uh, this particular reed switch seems to work really well. I've got the reed switch connected to the outer iron and the inner copper wire. We'll connect it up now. Alright, placement for this can be kind of tricky. You'll just have to find that a trial, um, doing trial and error. Um, you can see we've got a lot of uh, electromagnetic effect off this coil. This little uh, make and break switch motors speeding up very rapidly. I can play here at the position a little bit. I don't know if you can hear that. That's uh, pretty satisfying to have it working that well. You know, if that's all this coil did, it'd be well worth building and experimenting with and uh, taking it to the next step, I think, uh, just building these uh, motors. But of course, we will go on uh, from here and add a secondary to this double field coil. So watch out for my next video. We'll add a secondary onto this and we'll get that uh, lighting and LED as we have this uh, motor running. Anyway, I'll look forward to seeing uh, the replications other people come up with.